Welcome to Ask Endocrinologists. Uh, thank you for joining us again. It is great to have you as we continue to discuss different topics in endocrinology. My name is Dr. Hope and I'm here with Dr. Grace. Hello everyone. It's so today we're going to be talking about how to lower your calcium levels. Uh, there is a, a disorder called hypercalcemia. That means it stands for high calcium levels in the blood. And a high calcium level in the blood is defined as a calcium above 10.5 on average. So if your calcium level is high, it can lead to uh, many, many disorders. But first, let's talk about what is the cause of a high calcium level in the blood. The most common cause of a high calcium level is something called hyperparathyroidism. Um, that's a, a long name, but that can stem from a small non-cancerous or a very um, benign enlargement of a tumor in the parathyroid gland. So the parathyroid gland uh, can be seen or found behind the thyroid. It's actually in the neck. We have four of them, and if one of them has that benign tumor, then it can increase the level of calcium in the blood. So that's the most common cause, and it's mostly found incidentally um, on a blood test. Another cause are some cancers, some common cancers. Various cancers can actually cause high calcium levels in the blood. Other diseases, such as tuberculosis and sarcoidosis, um, which can raise vitamin D level, that can also stimulate um, high calcium in the blood. Immobility, so just people who are not moving around a lot or maybe lying down in bed for very long periods of time, maybe because they're sick from another disorder or they have some uh, issues that decrease their ability to move around, um, that can lead to high calcium levels in the blood as well. Severe dehydration. Um, so people who are drinking less fluids uh, can end up having high calcium levels in the blood. Some uh, genetic disorders, um, a rare disorder known as familial hypocalciuric hypercalcemia. Um, so that means these people have high calciums in the blood, but in the urine, they have low amounts of calcium. And that is more benign disorder that usually doesn't require treatment. Um, certain medications can lead to high calcium levels in the blood. And those include uh, lithium, hydrochlorothiazide, and some medications used to treat osteoporosis, like uh, teriparatide. And then um, taking excess amounts of supplements that include calcium and vitamin D. So those are some of the common uh, symptoms, uh, common causes, sorry, of uh, hypercalcemia or high calcium levels in the blood. So we're gonna go on to some of the symptoms and how do we actually diagnose hypercalcemia. Grace, thank you. That was awesome. Yeah, so what are the symptoms of hypercalcemia? When your calcium level is high, it gives you symptoms. And uh, the symptoms can be mild, can be very moderate, and sometimes it can be very bad and severe. And uh, the symptoms, these symptoms include fatigue, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, constipation. If you have ever heard about the bone groan mourn uh, and, and uh, the psychotic. So these are the things we refer to when someone has high level of calcium. Uh, other symptoms can include excessive thirst, frequent urination and you feel sometimes very confused you don't know what is going on and uh, these are things that you should look for when you see that you're having all these symptoms you need to seek your doctors to help you check your calcium level to see if it could be your calcium that is causing it and uh, when we f when you come to the doctor's office when you come to see us we ask questions relating to this to see if you are truly having symptoms or sometimes you could just be unaware that your calcium level is high 
and your, you don't have any symptoms. Uh, so we look at your blood work, we send for blood work to see what your calcium level is. Depending on the labs and the assay that is used, most times it ranges between 8.5 to 10.5 milligram per DL. And uh, if yours is above the range, then your doctor let you be aware of how, how your calcium level being high. So other thing is to check you, your physical exams to see if there's any symptoms or any signs rather. And then we do blood work. What do we look for in your blood work? We look for your calcium level, your vitamin D level, the hormone that Dr. Hope has mentioned, which is the parathyroid hormone. And uh, we look for other things in your blood work as well to confirm. Sometimes we even go ahead as, as and check your urine. We collect your 24-hour urine to make sure it is not the familiar hypocalcuric hypocalcemia, which is the FHH. And uh, to see if you are peeing out urine, uh, calcium in your urine or not. Well, and if it is not related to this parathyroid gland, if it is due to cancer or other causes, uh, x-rays can be ordered to see if you have anything in your chest x-ray or your CAT scan to see possible reasons why you have this. Yeah, so with this uh, lab work, the imaging and your history that you provide, we could be able to figure out actually why you have this high level of calcium. And from there, we, we go ahead with treatment. So Dr. Hoff is going to talk to us more about how to lower this calcium level when it is found. Thank you for that excellent uh, talk about the symptoms and diagnosis. So let's talk about treatment. So the treatment for hypercalcemia or high calcium levels in the blood depends on the severity of the disease. So the most uh, important treatment i would say is to remain hydrated so if there are fluids if if you're deficient in fluid um you definitely need to increase your fluid intake uh, so that is the most important thing like to stay hydrated increasing the amount of water especially in your diet uh, if you're on um, medications or taking supplements that have high calcium in it or even vitamin D because vitamin D is closely related to calcium levels in the blood. So people who take excess vitamin D can also raise their calcium levels. So just being aware of uh, your take your intake of calcium supplements and vitamin D supplements is important. And if you're taking too much to stop it or lower it. Um, the other uh, way that we treat hypercalcemia are with medications that are prescribed by your doctor. Um, some of those medications include calcitonin, uh, a medication called sinacalcet, um, other bisphosphonates, which are treat uh, medications like Fosamax, um, used to treat osteoporosis, and denosumab. Um, so those are some of the medications that could be prescribed by a doctor to help lower your calcium uh, levels. And also, if you are on medications that are known to increase your calcium levels, um, such as the lithium, the hydrochlorothiazide that we talked about, don't stop those medications without consulting with your doctor um, because those medications are being used to treat some other disorders and they may need to balance it or adjust the dosages instead of completely stopping it. So definitely um, you should contact your doctor before uh, adjusting or stopping any medication that can cause high calcium levels. So thank you. And uh, so I think this is all that we have for today. Um, please feel free to subscribe <laughs> um, and like us on social media. And we, are con we continue to give you information regarding endocrinology topics every week. It's uh, we enjoy sharing this information with you. So please um, continue to follow us. Thank you.